What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles. Today we're gonna to talk about how to start a reptile breeding business and make money or not make money. So what sparked this topic is a user on YouTube left a comment on my video. The video topic was uh, cost of owning a reptile and I go through the miscellaneous costs of owning reptiles and how difficult it is to make money when you're breeding and selling reptiles. Um, he referred me to a video link of another YouTube user and I watched their video that they were just they were describing and he says Hey, this guy just made a video on how to make all kinds of money how you can become a millionaire um, And how he's doing really well breeding and selling reptiles. So uh, It was a good video. I, I liked it a lot. Although I don't agree with everything he's saying um, One thing I want to shed some light on here is that people need to sell their snakes so when they push this as hey I can sell you a $10,000 snake that I just made, you're going to buy it and you're going to make $100,000. Sounds like a great investment, right? It does, but they're not telling you the whole backside of the market. And, and I hate to even be saying this because it's, it's my market. I'm, I'm playing in this market. Um, and, and hopefully you guys will be too in the future, but I want you to do it the right way. And I don't want you to listen to some of these people who are pushing this kind of preconceived or false notion of how to make money breeding reptiles. So in this user's video, he said, you know, the way I did it, the way I started, if I did it right again, is I would have bought this super expensive male and I would have bred it to these 10 females and I would have sold all these babies and it would have been a million dollars worth of babies. Those aren't the exact words, but essentially that's what he was getting at. Um, and it's kind of going on one of my videos I've made in the past of if you want to make money breeding reptiles, start small, build a reputation, and then you can sell those big money animals. Now, there's always exceptions. If you're hanging out and rolling around with millionaires, then you're going to be selling some high dollar snakes. If you're like me, I don't have a bunch of millionaire friends to offload $10,000, $20,000 animals. I'm selling you guys, you know, $100, $200, $500, $1,000 plus dollar animals, but it's not like I'm going to be selling $50,000. $20,000 snakes. So I can make 50 $20,000 snakes, but I'm going to be sitting here with likely 49 of them because I'll sell one of them, um, which isn't a bad thing. But let's kind of get into it. So I have a couple reptiles next to me, and what I want to show you here is um, there's two kind of mindsets and methods to what you should buy and what you should purchase and focus your breeding on if you want to be breeding and selling reptiles as a business. So the first animal I have here is kind of an expensive high dollar boa. Um, not the most expensive, not like the newest in the investment world, but um, it's certainly a, an, ex an expensive snake. So this is a fire T-positive motley Sun glow, maybe. I'm not sure. I have to go look at the tag. But it's definitely a fire tea positive, um, fire tea positive sun glow, not a motley. I'm sorry. Uh, so either way, it's a damn expensive snake, about five thousand dollars. Now I can breed this to other snakes, and I can make five thousand, ten thousand, maybe twenty thousand dollar animals. Where the problem comes in is selling these animals. And if you ask anybody who's been doing this for a period of time and doesn't hang around with millionaires. Um, they're going to have a really hard time selling this. Now, another mindset to this is that, well, if I'm spending big money, I'm going to be a really good friend with a lot of these breeders. You start buying $20,000 worth of animals from me, um, you know, big money, big dollar animals, I am going to be your best friend. Uh, you know, that's, that's not how I like to see it, but a lot of these big breeders are. The more money you spend with them, the more they hang around with you, the more they promote you, the faster you're going to grow. So as a business standpoint, uh, this person talking in these videos is not necessarily wrong. If you're going to go drop a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars in animals from somebody, they're going to promote you. They're going to push you. Uh, you're going to get all kinds of opportunities to continue to grow and run in this circle of kind of big money spenders. A lot of us don't have this money to spend. We're doing this as a hobby, we're doing this for fun, and maybe make a little bit of money on the side. So it, with that said, what I recommend starting off breeding is not investing in a five, $6,000 animal. At least not as your first snake, not while you're trying to get experience. So I'm going to put this guy back here. Um, you know, again, every animal has a purpose, and this is kind of me making a gradient so that, as I've said in other videos, that I like to have a range of animals for you guys. Um, I don't want to be isolated to, I'm only dealing with top tier people. I like to deal with the people who are just getting into the hobby. Um, I enjoy those people. I enjoy working with you guys. So what I personally would recommend is getting kind of a, a more lower dollar, but universal animal that you can sell and have no problems offloading the babies. Because uh, the last thing you want to do is make all these babies and be sitting here with a couple hundred babies to sell. So, 
Um, what I like to do is focus on animals like this. Uh, this is a this is a jungle motley. She may have hypo. I'm not sure right now. I have to breed her, but I just have her labeled as a jungle motley. Uh, she'll give really nice set of babies in like the $200 price range, $200 to $300 price range. She's had albino, so she has potential to make some really cool stuff as well. Um, but but this is kind of in my money, in my opinion, like the best way to start is to target these type of animals. So you may not be making a hundred grand. You may not be able to make a living off this. But again, who is going to buy a $20,000 snake off Joe who nobody's ever heard of before? Um, unless you've run in that circle of millionaires, again, you're not going to have a whole bunch of these customers. So this is really what I'm trying to portray to you guys is a lot of these people are trying to continue this perception and this persona that there are an infinite number of people out there who are going to be buying whatever you produce. That's not the case. A lot of the times, the nicest snakes, the most expensive snakes, turn into my holdbacks. One, because I like them, but two, because there's not a huge market for people buying five, six, seven, twenty thousand dollar snakes. It's just not going to happen. So, Usually a thousand dollar sale is where people are willing to reach to and then you have a small group of people You know 10% of the reptile keepers 5% of the reptile keepers who are going to reach to upwards of 5,000 Then you have that 1% point half percent of reptile keepers who are going to reach for that brand new morph the one that nobody has and if you want to talk about making money that's where you can make your money. If you're going to invest in anything, you need to invest in like the single gene, newest thing on the market, the thing that nobody has. You need to be the very first at it. And this is why a lot of those big breeders are big breeders and they're successful is because they are the first to do this. They're spending huge amounts of money, a lot of risk on buying a single animal that could die the next day or could pan out to be the best animal that they've ever bought, the best investment, and they make their name off of it. So with all this said, again, this is what I wanted to portray to you guys is that you need to focus on what your target market's going to be and is it a reasonable expectation. So again, you could spend a hundred grand on snakes and get all these snakes, all these bows, ball pythons, whatever you want to do, but do you have the customers to buy them? Um, do you have the time to wait? I can sell, I have sold, I've sold probably 40 snakes in the past month that were in the $250 to $300 range. Those things sell all day long. In my $800 range, I've sold one. Now, you could argue that, yeah, quant, quant, uh, quality over quantity, less work for one than it is for 40, yes, but at the same time, uh, that one sale of the $800 or $1,000 snake was because people know me from buying the cheaper snakes. So it really is a balancing act that you have to come to and, and, and identify with yourself and what you want to ultimately target as your market. Um, so I don't want to continue to ramble, but there is definitely losses that you can have in the reptile industry. There's definitely right ways and safe ways to do this. And there's certainly ways that if you want to spend a lot of money and put a lot of risk on yourself, there's ways that you can make a lot of money. But um, hopefully this video helped clarify a couple things for you. I didn't ramble on too much. Always appreciate you guys watching, subscribing. Give me the thumbs up if you like this video. Give me your topics. Give me your ideas that you think that uh, whether you can or can't make money. Let me know your experiences. Most of the people who I've, sp who I've spoken to are going to have the same opinions as me. So appreciate you guys watching. Thank you all again. We'll catch you next week.